Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here. Look at that price tag, $757 on clearance. On clearance. My finger looks so weird because it's so zoomed in, but it's flipping on clearance. Look at that. 700, it's almost $800 on clearance. It's not even like it's brand new. Well, it is brand new, but I mean, clearance. It's, <laughs> that is crazy. It's a very, very expensive drone. As you can see, it's just a drone box. That's all it is. I didn't know GameStop actually sold these. I think this is like a uh, display box because I don't think the drone could actually fit in this tiny of a box because it's very, very small, but the size of my hand. Also, there's a Tumblr cam quadcopter, $50. Now, that's reasonable. It was 60 How much was this one? Oh, it doesn't even tell you. This is like a thousand dollar drone, I would assume. It's very, very expensive. We're very close to it. And tonight, have three bags. Bag number one, two, and three. Now, tonight is number 326 of GameStop Dumpster Diving. Obviously, at my house again. I swear, I don't know what's happening. It's just... They, they change their regular pickup schedule for garbage and whatnot, so I'm not able to go there and make videos anymore there. I don't even know what's going on. It's really getting, like, weird. <laughs> I guess you I don't even know how to explain this. It's just very strange that I can't make videos there anymore for, like, a little while until it actually, I can actually stand there and make videos. So I gotta be here for a little while. It's been like four weeks. It's been like a month already. I've been doing them here, which I kind of do like doing them here. It's a lot more uh, easier peace of mind. I don't gotta worry about someone creeping up on me, security guards, or like if cops approach me or any of that stuff, even though stuff like this is perfectly fine to do depending where you live and stuff like that. So either way, I have a bag here, bag here, bag here. Let's do the weight test and let's see. I'm gonna say that one's probably the heaviest. Second heaviest and third heaviest just because one two three. Let's try it out Okay, that's extremely light and I feel bubble wrap. That's actually really funny. It's definitely really light Oh, this one's got some nice uh, weight to it. That's actually decent. Oh Now this is the bag I'm talking about that's heavy. So <laughs> it's the total opposite of what I just said heaviest middle last Let's get to this one because it's the heaviest First things first, I see a rub giant rubber band. I'll take that. Yes. Kind of hard to open this bag. So every time I go to open one of these bags, I always shut this new camera off. Every time. It's like in the worst spot, the button, because I go to go open it just like that, and my finger, this finger that I use to start the video and end the video, it slips over onto the button and always presses it. I hate it. That's the only thing that kind of makes me mad about this camera. Otherwise, it is gorgeous, the picture quality, and let's just jump into this. But that, I had to say that, because that's why that little cup edit was there right there. I usually don't edit my videos too, too much, because I like to show you guys the raw, awesome, amazing footage of what it really is to do this and uh, yeah so a giant wow that's the weight of it that thing is huge I've never seen a water bottle this big holy crap that thing is freaking massive that's like hashtag giant water bottle either way though we saw this jawbreakers do you guys see that holy flipping crap that's a DSI that is a mother crap in DSI what? That... Oh, that's a DSi. That, I just found a DS, 3DS last night. Last night was a giant mega haul. Link in the description. I freaking, let's see if it turns on. I gotta see if this thing turns on. If I can open it. Where's the power? It's right there. Oh, it turns on. Oh, no, it shut off. Oh, tell me this one's... Okay, it turned on. Oh, it's dead. That's what it is showing, the red thing. <laughs> it, it's, okay, good. Oh, yeah, it, it's dead. It's definitely dead. Maybe the battery shot. I doubt it. This thing is actually destroyed, too. If you guys didn't see those cracks right there, there's giant. I'll zoom in a little bit to show you guys if I can. Giant cracks. A crack right there, and there's a crack right there on either side. Those are really, really bad. Also, the screen is really bugged up. I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. Look at that screen. That's nuts. Oh my god, this thing is dirty too. This is supposed to be white, by the way. It's like a dirty, dirty white. That is freaking awesome, though. See the condition of it? Seems to be pretty good. Not too, not terrible. Oh, got a giant, giant crack on this side. There we go. Got a giant crack on that side, like someone dropped it. 
actually not too, too bad, to be honest. I'm going to be very careful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take that and put it on top of here because I don't want to ruin it at all. Let me zoom out a little bit. That is freaking awesome. Look at that. That's a freaking DSi. I just found a pink one of these like a week or two ago, and now I found a white one. And I just found a 3DS. DSs, I guess, are becoming more and more like found. Like I'm finding more and more because the new like Nintendo Switch came out, and there's just like there's so many new things that are coming out, new games and stuff. These are getting so outdated now that I think also the new 2DS came out or something. So these are getting outdated. A bug just died a second ago. Rest in peace, buggy. But uh, either way, that is, oh my god, ah! My back of my hand's getting stuck. There's also, ooh, it's already rubber band, nice. I usually rubber band stuff when I'm done uh, testing it, and this is already rubber banded. I'm obviously gonna have to unrubber band it and test it out, but uh, this is just a plug for a, oh boy, Xbox 360 uh, brick, a power brick. That's all that is, because you can tell by the color of it, the gray. That is awesome, I still can't believe it. This thing is sweet. Look at that, it's gonna work. It, well, I'm gonna hope it's gonna work because it looks like it's just dead and uh, usually I'll be able to probably charge it, which I think is right there and it should work fine. That's gonna be amazing. Okay, let's get over here. Let's see what else we got in this awesome, awesome bag. Oh, speaking about the Nintendo Switch, here we go. <laughs> Nintendo Switch things, just sleeve, promotional sleeves and stuff. It looks like there's more of them. This one looks like it was for like, uh, WWE or something like that. Oh, it looks like there might be a code. Oh, for Evolve. Oh, it's just a manual. I'll actually take that. That's awesome. That feels like that's it. The bag is extremely, extremely light. I don't actually feel anything else. This bag, let's go to this bag now. I'm trying to not turn the video off this time because that just stinks. Tons of drinks, oh my goodness. This bag was actually decently heavy, so I'm hoping something awesome is gonna be inside. Oh no, not this bag, that bag was heavy. This bag wasn't heavy, so there's probably nothing in here. Yeah, I, like I'm not even seeing anything. I'm seriously just seeing a bunch of bubble wrap and like gift cards. Sorry about that, I just heard a bang behind me and I didn't see anything. And there's definitely nothing inside that bag. It is extremely, Extremely light. I, just, I thought I saw like blood on my hand for a second. I'm like, no way. Did I just cut myself? No, I didn't. I don't know. I'm freaking out right now, guys. I'm freaking out. No, I'm just kidding. Let's get into this. <laughs> now, this was the second heaviest bag, so I'm hoping there's going to be awesome, awesome loot. And I definitely am hearing something. What is that sound? There's like, is there somebody behind me? I definitely heard something. I thought somebody was like walking up to me. Even though I'm at my house, that's really creepy. Could have been like my parents or something, I don't know. Or my sister, oh my gosh. But uh, here we go, we have uh, NBA 2K18, that's just a weekly ad, that's all that is. And those are actually really heavy. More of these Salazzle codes, oh my goodness. And for all of you who say these expired, no they did not. And yes, I know it says August 14th to September 4th. Read the back of it in the fine print. Let's see if I can find it. I'm gonna try to find it for you guys. It says, oh the glare is terrible. This is December 4th, right there. This is December 4th, 2017. It says, this code must be redeemed by December 4th. There you go, so these still work, even though they say that they don't, they do, they still work. People tell me they work, so they'll work till December 4th, at least you'll be able to redeem them until then. What is this? It's like a weird tag. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a broken case. I thought it was like a, uh, a case for like a DSi or something. That would be awesome. Rubber band. Got broken case. Got uh, ooh, actually got a sleeve here for Overwatch for the PS4. I'll take that. The uh, Game of the Year edition, too. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, looks like we have a bunch of them. One for. Oh no, this is promotional only. I don't know. Why is it says? Oh no, this is for the Xbox One. I'll take that too. And this one is for the PS4. Okay. Random, very, very random. These are promotional only. They have the price on the top and whatnot. Probably tons of different ones here. Yeah, tons of different ones. Get this out of the bag. What made this bag so heavy? It was the paperclip. It was the paperclip. Okay, well, that is the rest of that bag. That is so weird. This bag was actually pretty heavy, too. I guess it was the weekly ads, that's probably what it was. But either way, let's do a mini little recap really, really fast. So tonight was actually a really freaking good night. Found Overwatch, I mean, these aren't that great, but still. Overwatch uh, sleeve for the PS4, Xbox One, PS4. A manual for Evolve. The cord for an Xbox 360 power brick. 
random and it's already rubber banded, awesome. Uh, two rubber bands that are regular, a giant red rubber band, yes, for the rubber band ball. If you guys don't know about the rubber band ball, links in the description for all the rubber band balls I've ever made, as well as last night's episode, which was a, me a mega, mega huge jackpot haul, which was amazing. Uh, so lazzle codes that I'll definitely probably be giving these away in the weekly recap, so you guys have to check that video out once I make it. The DSI, which is the best find tonight by far. This is awesome. I'm hoping, hoping it's going to work. It turns on. That's a good sign. It doesn't look like the screens are cracked, which is also a very good sign. So hopefully it'll charge. I know some of these, they have problems where you would charge them and then they would die like instantly because the battery dies in these. But I think it should be okay. Uh, I'll definitely tweet you, guys, uh, tweet you guys on Twitter showing you if this works or not once I charge it and whatnot, which may take like an hour or two after the video is posted, maybe a couple little more hours after, I don't know. <clears throat> also, these boxes for the drones, which is kind of cool. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you really, really enjoyed the video. Not that much stuff tonight, but still enough to have an awesome freaking time. And just for a great video, this thing is the like the jackpot right here. This is a jackpot. Just finding this. If I just found this, I was, still would have been happy. Or if I just even found this, I would have been happy. It doesn't matter. Somebody actually commented in one of my videos that, that since they've been watching my videos, the little things in life are starting to matter a lot more to them, which means so much to me because you guys can't think that everything big in life is gonna, just going to be like amazing and whatnot. Think of the little things. The little things make your life great. They really do. I mean, it depends what you're talking about, but just you, you try to look at everything on the bright side. And even if you can't, still try to do that because that's what I always do and it always seems to work out for me. I always have a blast making these videos. You guys can tell in my voice. I sound flipping happy because I'm really happy right now. And I love making these and showing you guys what I find on a nightly basis for the most part. So thank you all for watching and I will definitely catch you guys on the flip side. Before I go, watch the last video over there, most recommended video over there. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer. Subscribe to the Speedy Diver. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.